Hello, Professor Jones's ENG 112 class. One more time, Dan Calandro here to help you guys find some sources for your paper for your class. Now, the last time we talked about the Ferguson's Career Guidance Center database, uh, this time I'm going to talk about our electronic books. Again, this is another database that you can use. Uh, you can use actually either set of keyword terms if you want to use the uh, a job title or the career that you're interested in. You can also use the keyword terms I showed you in the first video on databases. This time though, instead of getting articles, we are going to get books. And what's nice about the eBury database is that you guys don't have to come in and check out books. You can read them all online, full text. So I'll show you how to do that. And again, it is just like going to our database page, except instead of clicking on the databases, this time we're going to click on eBury eBooks Central. So again, under the quick links, eBury eBooks Central. And again, since this is just like one of our databases, we can search for say American Dream and Student, Student Debt, Student, student Debt and Employment. So that was our search in our academic databases. And this time we're going to search for it in our ebook database. And if we go ahead and we do that search, we can see we can have a whole bunch of resources. So this may be one of those instances where because we have so many, right, we take our search, we highlight it, and we want to use our phrases like American Dream. We know we want that phrase. And we know we are interested in the phrase student debt. And if we go ahead and type that in, just like in our article databases, you guys are going to get books that contain those phrases, American Dream and Student Debt along with employment. And you notice we went down from over 35,000 to 180. Okay, and you can scroll through and see if there's anything on your topic. Okay, so we can go ahead and we can click on one of these books. Here I'll click on this one and it'll take us to some information about the book. See where it says description here. This is worth taking a few seconds to read just to see what uh, this book is going to discuss. See if it's kind of uh, what you're interested in, just like the abstract for the article. You'll also see that it has a table of contents where it shows you the various chapters within the book. So if you want, you can take a look and say, okay, are any of these chapters for me, right? Is there one here that discusses my career or student debt, whatever it may be? So you can go ahead and you can click on one. So look at chapter five, unfulfilled expectations for recent college and high school graduates. That's sort of on our topic, that's on our search. Click on it and it's gonna go ahead and take us to that chapter. And you'll see we have the ability to go ahead and just scroll through this reading pane here on the right and take a look at this chapter. And What's nice is, is that not only can we scroll through this book like we're doing now, we can look at the chapter. We also have the ability to search within this book. So see where it search within book. I can go ahead and I wanna find that phrase, say student debt. And I can search for it and it's going to say, okay, it's found student debt. Here are the three instances where it appears in this book. You will see right there, chapter five, okay. Here we have a result on page 100 it's actually gonna highlight our student debt. That's what's nice about the search within book because chances are you're probably going to not use the whole book. You'll probably just wind up using a chapter or a set of pages and that search within book can really locate within a chapter, within the book, uh, whatever phrase or theme you are interested in. So here, here's a little section that says mountains of debt and you can scroll through and you can really take a look at this section. Okay, and you'll see here, again, it appears on page 119. So if we click on that, it'll take us to page 119 and we can see it. And if you notice here, this gives you your citations. So if you want, uh, you can actually go out and you can see this, there's a URL, you can go and find that. Here's another URL. Uh, if you want, you can go and you can search for articles or books that it mentions. It looks like a lot of these come from uh, websites, Brookings Institute, which is a think tank, this one is from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. So here you can go and you can use these links to go and find these articles. Because chances are, if it helped uh, this person write their book chapter or their article, it can help you.
Great. So what you can do is like, let's say we really like page 100. What you have the ability to do is uh, you can go ahead and you can actually print that off if you want. There's a little print PDF here. Click on that and it'll generate this message asking you to print the, or create the PDF from the current page, page range, or even a chapter. Just like with the databases too, you have the ability to cite the book. So see where it does get citation. Click on that. It'll generate the citation for you. Defaults to MLA. There you go. There's your MLA formatted citation. And again, you can highlight, copy, and paste this into your work cited page. That is it for eBrary. It is fairly straightforward. Uh, as I said, if you want, you can go ahead and you can use your career. So let's see. I'll type in librarian and career and see what comes up. Or you can go ahead and use keyword terms like student debt and things like that. So there, jumpstart your career as a digital librarian. How exciting. Okay, and we can scroll through. All right, so that is it for eBrain. Again, if you guys get stuck or confused, anything like that, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. You can always email us. You can do a Google Hangout with us for some one-on-one -on -one help. Whatever works for you guys, we'll do our best. All right, thank you guys. See you later. Bye.